Good morning and welcome on this Christmas day to our service of Holy Communion. And it is the last service before the next lockdown, which begins tomorrow. So it's a lovely to have this opportunity to come together on Christmas day. And may I wish everybody who's watching a very happy Christmas as well, and a very happy Christmas to everybody gathered here this morning. Now the notices are on the sheet and um, the, just the dates for Christmas Eve and then looking for um, volunteers for who are good with technology or want to learn. And um, th then just to remind you that we need to say thanks in a big, big way for all the things. It is a difficult time, but together we will get through it. And so we begin a service here in Athai with our first Christmas carol. Oh, come all ye faithful. Please be seated. say the collect for purity together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Thoughts of our hearts, mission of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to intercede for us in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace. And we say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in thought and word and deed left undone. We are truly sorry and we are humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may walk in newness of life 
to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the collect of this Christmas day. Almighty God, you have given us your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and at this time to be born. Grant that we, who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we sit now for our first reading. Our first reading is from the letter of St. Paul to Titus, chapter 3, beginning at verse 4. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Saviour appeared, he saved us, not because of the righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This spirit he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Saviour, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. And our next uh, him is the children uh, from the Walter School singing Away in a Manger. from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, the verse. Praise to you, O Jesus Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was of Syria. All went to their own town to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. 
He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you great news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had heard. The shepherds turned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. And this morning, on this Christmas morning, our lay reader, Bill King, is going to give our sermon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, when did you first realize that Christmas was coming? Eh? When? Probably just after Halloween, I would think. They started to sneak things in the shops, and you maybe heard the odd bar of jingle bells or something like that. And you think, why do they start so early? Why do they do this? But at the same time, it's been a bad time. So maybe it sort of cheered you up a bit, and gradually those little Christmas songs sneak in, and they're all over the place. So when you get to the beginning of December, it's full of them. Absolutely full of them. And then we start to see into Holy Night and carols and all that stuff, usually winding up perhaps with a Messiah or something really super like that. But not this year. Not this year. We have to wear these. And we're not allowed to sing. We're not allowed to sing. And that is really why I'm saying to you that it's important that we do sing. It's important that when you go home, you put on your Christmas best choice, which you have, I'm sure I have one, um, and you listen, and you sing along to Jonah Lomi, L Lomu, is that the man? Yeah. Or you sing along to Bing Crosby, or you want to be a hippopotamus for Christmas, or you want your teeth for Christmas, whatever you want. Give it a good old go and have a sing. We haven't had a sing. And maybe you'd sing a carol or two. Maybe go together and just sing a few. I mean, to hear the children there, singing away in a manger with, with, with the tonic. It's lovely, I mean, because they're little kids, but it's also nice to hear people singing, you know? I mean, not a Salvation Army. Not... And the other thing we've missed this year is mistletoe. Because you're not allowed to kiss. No kissing. Oh, no kissing against the law. So again, when you go home, give good kisses in your bubble and give a good sing song and a good celebration because today is the birth of the light. The lies of the the sun, and we celebrate. So we're happy, and we're jolly, and we're singing, singing, and kissing, kissing. Okay, okay. Now the bad, 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 the 
talk to, to the children and to the child that is within all of us older people as well. Because every year since I've come to a, a Thai Union, we, we tell the story of the, we, of the Christmas cracker. Because we want to make sure that at every table this, at every table this day, on this Christmas day, as people are beginning to get ready to tuck into the turkey, and then they look at the crackers and they say, oh, let's pull a cracker. So uh, I want all, always want to remind the children of the story of the cracker. Now, I got actually, to make the point, I actually got a giant cracker here this year. And I was going to ask our lay reader, Bill, to pull it with me because he's in my bubble and I can't ask anybody else. So as we, as we pull the cracker and discover what's inside, I want you to remember the story. So the first part of the story is that, if Bill come up here now and pull, the first part of the story is the snap of the, now, okay, one, two, three. Oh, oh. <laughs> the snap of the cracker, is the surprise that the shepherds got. Lovely, thank you. You have to hand it all back, Bill. That's right, no keeping any of it. The surprise of the shepherds when the angels appeared to them. Then the next thing that comes out of the cracker, the shepherds were the first visitors, and then the next thing that comes out is the hat. Now, some people don't like wearing these hats. I think they're fantastic. And they remind us of the three kings and that Jesus is the, is the prince of peace. So that's our hat. So we put our hat on, so we have the snap of the cracker, we have the hat to remind us of the three kings. Inside we had a little present. Um, I'm not quite sure what it actually is. It looks like a car. And this is the gift. The gift, of course, that we're thinking about is the gift of Jesus the new babe, newborn babe, the Christ child this Christmas time. So that's the gift. And then the last thing is the, um, it used to be a verse from the Bible. And, uh, but the, uh, I know that it has moved now more to jokes and to think, but the motto inside was to remind us of, I keep pulling out hats out of, the, out of this one, uh, it was to remind us of the Bible and the, and the story of the, of the nativity. So there we have it all now. We have the for the shepherds, we have the hats for the wise men, we have the gift of the Christ child, and then we have the, the joke or the motto which was meant to be uh, from the Bible telling us about the birth of Christ. So I want all, everybody here, the youngest person in each family, to, when, before you pull your first cracker today, remember the story and tell the story and then pull the crackers and wish everyone then a very happy Christmas. So now we're going to stand and we're going to affirm the faith which we're celebrating on this day in a very special way. As we say together, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty. Of all of the three unknowns, we believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate by the Holy Spirit, was a Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And in the light of the gospel, and before we say our prayers, we're going to light the candles on the Advent wreath. Now, the first candle is for Abraham. The second one is for the prophets. The third one is for John the Baptist. The fourth one is for the Blessed Virgin Mary. And then the one we're going to light, the extra one we're going to light today is for the Christ child. And now to our prayers, let us pray. So please be seated. And will Olivia and Ruby and Neil and Jane are going to lead us in our prayers today. So if they'd like to come up. Holy Jesus, by being born one of us, and lying humbly in a manger. You show how much God loves the world. Hear our prayers this Christmas day and let the light of your love shine in our hearts until we reach our home in heaven and see you on your throne of glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. My home is full of happiness, my stockings filled with treats, my Christmas tree is twinkly lights, mum's cocking up a feast. My church is full of singing, my house is full of joy, my nativity has last peace, a little baby boy. Dear God, thank you for Christmas for all the great toys and presents I love this time and never want it to end. Dear God, thank you for Christmas. For all my friends and family, I love them so much and I place them all into your loving hands. Dear God, thank you for Christmas, for sending Jesus to be with us and guide us. Amen. Dear God, I know I'm very blessed today, spending time with my family, having a yummy dinner and getting to open presents, but I know there are many people who w wouldn't get those things today. Please hug them and let them feel your peace and love. Please send them lots of blessings and let them know that someone is thinking about them on Christmas. Help us to see how I can bless other people too in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Jesus, welcomed into this world by angels and shepherds. Help us to celebrate your birthday in joyful simplicity. And we say together, merciful Father, accept these our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we come to the peace. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And the hymn of the offertory is hymn number 
159, but Christians all rejoice. And we stand for the hymn with no singing.
Thank you. 